What up? Flatline Blades here. I wanted to do a new update for my one of my favorites, Les George. So this is a almost June 2021 Les George collection. I've had uh, one or two other things and I've let slip out of my hands. One of them literally just last week. But I got a new VSEP, so I'm pretty good with that. And even though I've had this patch for a while, I just got the one that I really wanted and have wanted for a while, uh, over a year, a while, um, just got with the new one. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to basically say, you know, I love his stuff, always been a fan, um, everything's usually ergonomic, built like a tank, and, uh, <clears throat> so, this is the Galvo, it's a boot knife, dagger, it's a four inch blade, double edge. This one is XHP. Obviously, it's made in America. It's black G10 on this particular one, stone washed. Little Kydex sheath. <clears throat> Feels pretty good. I like the size, the balance, the weight. I did a video where I busted out the scale and the, the micrometer. I might actually do this depending on how long this video ends up going. I'm trying to basically just kind of give a shout out. And, uh, you know, one of my very first videos I did was my old Les George collection. And somehow it, it didn't get much love. But I did put a bunch of videos out. And it was hard to, when you first start out, Here's my first four videos, and I just started my channel today, kind of thing. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to give this another shot now that I have some other new good stuff to throw in here. But, this is literally one of my favorite knives. I've had 50, 60 knives come and go. Actually, probably more than that, honestly, but... If I'm going to go get under the, get under a house, get up in an attic, or, I mean, really anything, it's not like I wouldn't use some other stuff too, but this is almost my go-to in the sense that if somehow something happens, it's not going to be the end of the world, but it's good enough to basically rely on it. <laughs> Um, in virtually any situation. It's a now discontinued zero tolerance 909. This one is S35VN. Again, black G10. This is my new acquisition. I'm going to do something special with this. I'm not going to anodize it for the first time ever. I'm actually going to send a couple of knives for something special. Um, but this is a Tonto. This one's XHP. And of course, yep, um, with a lot of my stuff that I'm getting right now, it's stone washed. But I've had the flipper version for over a year. <clears throat> and I gotta say, I'm definitely liking the, uh, you know, the double thumb studs, the non-flipper version, whatever you want to call it. But, I mean, this is not me kissing somebody's ass or anything. There's a thousand knives. I really like a lot of knives, you know, but... There's just something about the simplicity and the basicness of it and how it feels and fits in my hand. 
Um, that just straight draws me to it. So, anyway, um, very happy I got this. I'm going to do something really special with it. Just love how it feels in my hand, though. That's why you see multiple different variations of damn near the same thing. This one I've had for a while. <clears throat> I anodized it. It is really intriguing because it's misstamped on here, honestly. Um, I don't know why I said honestly, but it's misstamped. It says 204P, but this is Chad Nichols Damascus. <clears throat> it's really not that big of a deal because uh, he'll, I know he'll vouch for it saying it's, it's real and legit. I just don't know if that makes it more or less valuable, but um, I've had this thing for over a year and it's one of my only couple of knives that I don't see myself getting rid of period point blank. Um, but having both of them now, I'm, I'm definitely a huge fan of just the simplicity and how it feels in my hand for all of these. But so both of these are V-Seps version threes. This one's just the flipper. This one's the thumb studs. That one's XHP. And this one is Chad Nichols Damascus. We also have a new 2021 run these were made a while back they just redid them it's a protec push button auto out the side rock eye i mean it's the same thing it's the same shape <clears throat> it's the same little finger cut out which means again I'm a fan. I like it. And obviously, there's a couple of good brands. Don't get me wrong. But when I think OTF, I think Microtech. When I think push button out the side, I think Protech. Glad I got this. Uh, the new the new versions, Protec is starting to make stuff in S35VN and S45VN, I've, I've realized recently. And then uh, something else I've had for a while. One way or another, I've actually tried to sell this thing recently and nobody bid on it. But, you know, I'm thinking maybe it's just it happened for a reason. Because I had to look for this when I found it. <clears throat> But this is a all the way back in 2014, brand new in the box, still unused. So, uh, first run number 177 of 200, fixed blade Pro Tech Rock Eye. Black and gray G10. Again, same ergonomics because it's the same. It's the same thing. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna keep this. I'm mad at myself. I just had a Spartan Aster, and now that I'm looking at it, because I finally got the other VSEP, I'm like, I should have just. I, I wish I just had it here. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> definitely a a less George fan. I saw what they were making for the the new Blade Show stuff, and I was like, oh, man, that would be fucking amazing. But All right. I don't know how this went as long as it did, but uh, Flatline Blades, hit that like button, subscribe. Fixed Blade, Protect Rock Eye, Push Button Out the Side, Rock Eye, VSEP, ZT909, the Galvo. Let's George.